All right, guys, welcome. Hey, guys, welcome back. Super excited to continue this training and, and, and continue my favorite tips and tools I use for finding products. So in the last lesson, I showed you guys like, hey, why don't we hit up people we know in our network? Showed you guys even my own Facebook messaging and what people have responded back when I asked them a question about what they've sold recently. So that's the first place I would start. Of course, you want to start like with where you at, where you live. But um, some really, really effective uh, sites and <coughs> excuse me, apps I use are uh, the list of Shopify stores ranked in order. Top 30,000 stores should be listed below this lesson. I go to Shopify Exchange. We went over that in the last sec uh, lesson. That gives me really cool ideas that I can pick fast. Um, I go to Fancy. So Fancy.com is a website where you can... They're, they're not really an e-commerce store that sells their own products or dropships. They're actually an affiliate. Uh, and a lot of these sites that I'm going to give you, a lot of these uh, tips I'm going to give you, they're affiliates, meaning that they'll promote products on their site. In a lot of cases, they'll, they'll actually be an affiliate for Amazon. And uh, so you'll see a really cool product and you'll see a perfect example of what I call a pre-engagement page, which I'll talk about later. And you'll see how they link it to where you can buy it from because they get a cut of the profit if they sell, right? That's what an affiliate does. Um, so fancy.com is a good one. Let's just go over to their, to their website and I'll show you what that looks like right now. So they have two, there's two places I look at this place. I look at their fan page on Facebook and I'll look at their actual website. So you'll find that they, they really show you some really cool products and you might even get super excited about some of them and decide I want to sell this product. But keep in mind that I have certain metrics I want you to follow. And the previous lessons on this module, I talked to you guys about having a certain price point, making sure there's premium US suppliers, making sure that it's you know something that caters to the upper middle class. Now, will any if you sold some of these products, will it, make you money yes it might make you money but i want you to focus on high ticket drop shipping for now so let's narrow our category search to products that we know is going to be um, more expensive right so in and that when it comes to that i usually find that furniture or decor is usually the best when it when it comes to finding products that are going to be more expensive that meet our metrics that we're looking for So here we go, just selecting furniture as an example, and bam. You guys see right off the bat how bougie this is, how unique these, uh, these pictures are. Now this is the kind of stuff that really gets me excited because I know there's not going to be many places or many competitors that are selling it. But now also the more unique, the harder it's going to be to find a drop shipper that's going to drop ship it for you. But look, nothing worth having comes easy. If you can be that first person that finds a unique product that's maybe made by some really cool designer that hasn't even drop shipped before and you somehow convince them to let you drop ship it, that could be a million dollar store right there. So just because it's going to be hard doesn't mean it's not worth pursuing. So right off the bat, something that really stands out is this, uh, um, where is it? This camper van bunk bed. Now, look, guys, I love the price. You know, the higher the price for me, the better. I love the price, but... Um, there's some pros and cons to this, but I will definitely, my goal is probably uh, to find a supplier within the United States or even in Europe that can drop ship it to the U.S. for an effective price that can get here on time. And if I can't, then now it at least gave me a great, great idea of something that can be sourced in the United States. And I might even try to find a manufacturer or supplier in the United States that will be willing to make this product if they don't currently make it. So just because you don't find a drop shipper doesn't mean you should abandon this idea. Uh, but a creative bunk bed, something like this, I know if I was a kid, I would love to have this in my house. So let's start off with this particular product and keep going from there. So this particular camper van bunk bed really stands out, right? And you can see here that immediately it's, it's interesting because it says 42 to 70 day delivery time. So that's a pretty long time, but not unrealistic because that basically means like four to eight weeks, four to nine weeks. That's doable. It's also going to ship from the United Kingdom. Don't get turned off by the fact that it's shipping from international as long as it's dropship friendly and maybe after you factor in shipping costs, you can still make a good margin. So let's say the selling price on this thing is seven grand, but your, your reseller price might be like four grand. And um, after there might be a thousand shipping. So now it's five grand total cost for you, right? Well, 
If you sold it for seven grand, that's still a $2,000 profit. Even if you made a $1,000 profit off this, I'd be happy. You might even find a manufacturer in the United States that's willing to make something similar to this for you for a lot less. So the goal here is that now using something just as simple as going to these cool websites, I've been able to come up with a really, really cool product idea that might be dropship friendly. And this is definitely one of the cool ones. And now you have more ideas. Look at that. Once you click on a product, it starts showing you some more ideas like this caravan bed right here that I think is super cool. I really do. I can totally see this in somebody's house and they have some really cool images. They have different colors. So I really want to know a little bit about this product. A look at this guys. It's also made in the United Kingdom, but it tells you if it's going to be shipped to the U S it can be 35 to 45 days, which I don't think is bad. Um, please allow six to eight weeks for delivery. Uh, and you know what? Um, my goal is to call this uh, your, your, this UK dropshipper or, or supplier and see if they dropship for me. Because at $2,100, I could tell you right now, guys, I might be able to see some people that are willing to buy this. Of course, there's a certain clientele, but it's this is what we're looking for, guys. Something that's out there, something that's bougie, something that's unique, something that costs over $300, something that you know would make us a little bit different, something that we can always sell. And this is definitely one of them. This is a kid's dream, isn't it? I would love one of these if I was a kid. So hopefully that helps you out, guys. There's so many products. I can go through this all day long, but now you have some tools in front of you that you can use. Uh, I'll give you one more. I would totally sell this all day. My neighborhood Totoro bed. Look at this. I think this would trend on social media. I think people would like and share this. Um, this is the OMG, oh my God, I got to have product, right? And heck, you know, there's no setup. Uh, anyone can sleep on it. Like this is super cool, guys. Heck, I might even drop ship this. So you know what? Uh, this is really exciting to see. And again, here's some delivery times. Um, now, if you want to know where to find this product, uh, there's a few places. First, here, right? So you can see here that they're willing to show you where to get this product. The item is a final sale, non-refundable. So you can actually add to cart or you can even click buy now and it might show you who the manufacturer is. So right now it's not showing me and that's not a problem, but I would really make the argument that you should go as far as possible to find out if they make it themselves. Well, they, we know they don't make it themselves, but who does? And bam, look at this guys. We can see here it's sold by fancy merchant, which I guess is their site, but a lot of products are not. Some products are sold by other brands. So let's click on who it's sold by and let's see if we get more information. Yep. It's their own thing. All right, cool. This is the guys that actually were, this is their own product. So nothing wrong with that. But now I, I have an idea, right? I can go, guys, I can go to Pinterest to look for more products, right? So let's go to Pinterest.com and we'll look up, we'll look up uh, my neighborhood to Toro bed, okay? Let's look that up on Pinterest. Yes, I, by the way, I love Pinterest and that's one of the tools I'm going to give you guys later. And look at that, guys. We met, Totoro is the character. But the goal here is to say, um, what, what about non Totoro, right? What about all these other huge kind of um, sleeping beds? And, and that could be any character. Heck, it could be Pokemon. It could be Dragon Ball. It can be any one of these animated characters. And you just start like researching guys you start um you start digging deeper and deeper who supplies this where can i find a similar product and that's how it's done it really is but you see how we found something really cool that we otherwise would have never thought of look at that look how awesome that is i would have never thought about that so uh i really am making it as simple as possible for you guys by giving you the exact resources i use to find some creative products so what else peonic is another one i'll go to peonic.com um peonic is a lot like pinterest in that um you'll see what i'm saying so you see here now you'll have to probably create an account or get set up but it's usually it's always free so in my case i'll just use my facebook to log into it continue as aj and it looks like i already have an account so it's going to ask me for my user and stuff i don't want to do that but peonic is a good one it's a lot like pinterest but more unique and bougie products and you can see that brings me to my fourth, which is Pinterest.com. Um, another really good one, tip number five, is Crazy Trends. CrazyTrends.com is a good one. Crazy Trends. 
Facebook.com. We'll go to this one real quick and see what it's about. And it's no longer there. <laughs> and that's why some, we, this thing always gets updated. So I'm pretty, I'm crazed trends. Okay, excuse me. Crazed trends. Dot com. Crazed trend dot com. There we go. And you can see, again, just stuff that gives you really unique perspective, right? Like I would have never thought of this product. I wouldn't sell it either. But again, let's see. Camping. You can see all the categories up here on the top side uh, of the header. And look at this. Shark sleeping bag. That might actually lend itself to the first niche we thought about, right? And obviously for the sake of this course, we decided to go with chandeliers because we wanted to give you a really simple um, perspective of what a good niche is. So sharks, shark sleeping bags is, is not obviously something I would really want to sell right away. But uh, look, the point of this is to go through categories that can really, really maybe give you an idea for another idea, a product for another product. And that product you would have never got to if it wasn't for just going through these categories. So crazy trend, craze trend. I keep saying crazy, but it's crazetrend.com. Smartly. Smartly is one of my favorites. And the way I use Smartly, guys, is I actually use their Facebook page. And I'll type in Smartly on the Facebook search bar, and it'll bring me to their fan page. And you can see here it has 3 million likes. So go ahead and like it and start following them on Facebook. The reason why I like them so much is because they'll actually show you the coolest product videos that later on in this training, I'm going to show you why that's so cool because we use the same kind of style videos when we try to um, run Facebook ads. So look at this. I go through this and I'll look at some of the stuff they post and I'll see how people are engaging with it on social media and I'll see if the product is unique enough to maybe even drop ship. So right off the bat, look at this. The very first thing I see on this page is this really cool bed. We'll mute that real quick and you can see they've posted a still image video ad which is easy to do. But what I like about this is three things and one is the reaction on social media. 80, 89,000 likes, 224,000 shares. Look guys, when you see a video ad, a product ad, or anything like that on Facebook, and people are sharing it more than they're liking it, that's a huge, huge indication that it's something you might wanna look into. This bed is an amazing example of something that's unique, bougie, uh, has that cool and wow factor to it, is dropship friendly, I'm, I'm sure it is, and is cost over a certain price. It's something people are gonna want, people are already talking about. You totally should look through this as an example, right? But again, do you wanna just sell this? No, you. Uh, I mean, I would totally sell it if I can, but what I'm saying is uh, you wanna look at other things in their site. So you can even click on videos on the left side of the column to see their categories and you're going to find stuff that you would never drop ship it's not even worthy of it um, but again you'll find that diamond in the rock and you'll uh, stumble upon a product that you're you would have never otherwise thought of that you're going to want to drop ship so that's another tool i use and i got two more i want to share with you i'll share with you in the next lesson